What is going on fam? My name is Brennan Myers and in advance, I apologize for the echo. Just wanted to make sure we were in a private area so you could get the absolute best five exercises to really shred those abs. So when we talk about your abdominals, your rectus abdominis, your external obliques, you have your internal obliques, you have, you have all these different muscles that encompass not only your abs, but also your core, your rectus spinae is also running down your spine. So that's a part of all of your core region. You also have your QLs, you have your local, like all these different muscles, right? But today, in order to really shred those abs, you do have to have a strong opposite, a strong posterior chain as well. So I wanna give you one movement really quick. Actually, we can give you two movements that you could be doing pretty efficiently to really get that lower back strong. Now, if you are into bodybuilding or you do have weights, you do have weights that are available to you, one movement that you could be doing is a good morning. So all you're gonna do is bring the bar a little bit lower on your back and you're going to bend over forward until you kind of feel a pull in your hamstrings, your glutes, and a little bit of stress on your low back, keeping your knees bent just slightly, about 15 degrees, and then you're gonna be coming straight back up but squeezing your hips all the way through, squeezing your glutes all the way through, and this is gonna really focus on that low back, those, those glutes, and those hamstrings. Remember, if you want a really nice and shredded front side, you also need a very, very strong and shredded back side. Now, obviously, you need to take into account your diet. So if you haven't watched my past video, I talk about counting your macros, how to do it, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm prepping for a show October 5th. So that's one movement. Another movement you could be doing is Superman's. Very, very simple. You're gonna be on the ground just as so, and you're just gonna come right up here and hold for a three count and back down. The most important thing is really tightening in your stomach. If you're not tightening your stomach and feeling like your belly button is going directly into your spine, you're not doing it correctly. You're not using the same muscles that are required as much, as efficiently as you should. So here and down. One more and down, okay? So just a couple exercises that you could be doing. Also, you have hyper extensions, you have glute ham raise, a lot of different movements that really focus on our low back. Now to the ab movement. So there's so many different ab movements that I love to do. There's a couple that I'm not gonna include that are some of my favorite, but if you have some weights, I highly suggest use some equipment. It's really, really fun. The volume with the, the load and the resistance makes it even more just like thickening for your abs to really grow. You gotta build that tissue a little bit more, especially if you're a little bit higher of a body fat percentage, right? Because it's gonna only bring it closer to the surface the bigger your muscles are, okay? So, first of all, grab a dumbbell. I generally grab, like honestly, anywhere from a 35 pound up to a 75, 80, 90 pounder. I'm not even kidding. So what I do here, it's just, regular twisters, Romanian twists, right? But here's the thing, we're not just gonna go and twist and twist and twist, we're gonna go slow with it. We're gonna be controlled at the movement at the beginning, okay? But through here, that's when, when we're transferring the weight over, that's when we can be a little bit more efficient and quicker. Another thing, your feet, you do not want your legs to sway back and forth. This just means you're not in control of that abdominal area and that core area. So stabilize, you wanna make sure that they're not moving, okay? So you're gonna start here. All you're gonna do, grab it however you want, but mainly you wanna grab it here. You're gonna grab and boom, fast. And then you let go, then back over again, okay? So here, back over. Squeeze in your core, squeeze, boom, okay? Very, very important. It's, a, it's an incredible exercise. I generally do it, it all depends on how heavy I'm going. If I'm going way, way heavier, I want a really heavy resistance, I'm gonna only do six to eight reps on each side. Other times, I'm gonna do 15 on each side. It all depends on what I'm supersetting, and the volume, the frequency of what I'm doing for that week. There's a lot that, that's involved, okay? So that's exercise number one, let's put that over to the side. Exercise number two, we're gonna go up here. And this is actually, I'm gonna give you two different exercises here. Obviously, you've seen the hanging leg raise, You've seen the hanging, um, just, just knee raise, but I like to combine them both. So I either put them as, as I'm hanging, if I don't have a strong grip at the time, whatever, or if you don't have a strong grip, I'm gonna show you a, an alternative that you can do. So you're just gonna be hanging here, and all you're gonna do is up 
and out and back in and down. Up and out and back in and down. You can even go to the right and out and back in and down. Hit those external obliques a little more. Boom, out, back in, down. Okay? So you can do that or you simply, simply go on a dip bar. You can hold yourself up a little bit better. Up and out, back in, down. Most important thing here is to just make sure you're tightening up and staying straight up. A lot of the times you want to go like this and go like that. It's not going to be as efficient or effective for you, okay? So stay up here and out, back in and out, okay? So that's exercise number two. Exercise number three is going to go to the TRX. This is something that I love, love doing because it also is aiding in your rotator cuff muscles because of the actual movement itself. Let me show you. So you're going to want these this TRX to be close to your kneecap. Not all the way down, look at the difference here. It's close, but not, not 100% the same, right? Not 100% the same, it's very, very close. You're gonna grab this, these handles here, right? Very, very important, grab those handles. All you're gonna do, go back into a plank position or a push-up position, all right? Keep your feet together, you can bring them wide. You can even go one leg if you're really, really strong. Make sure those hips are tightened in. Squeeze your glutes in, squeeze your stomach in. You don't want your butt to be popping out too much. All you're gonna do is not go straight out. You're gonna go almost, I don't know the angle, but you see how, how far away it is from my, my head? And then back up. Come up here and right back down and back up. Same thing, and back up. I do this movement because not only is it effective for your core and you're stabilizing through the, the bottom of the movement, but at the same time, you're stabilizing your shoulders. A lot of people don't get a lot of work in for their rotator cuff muscles. And it's very, very important. Also, your serratus here, your serratus interior, like it's so important to have all these other muscles to be strong, especially if you want to get nice and full shredded and have a strong, strong core. Okay, that's exercise number three. Exercise number four. One of my favorites, absolutely one of my favorites. I always grab a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell, either or is fine. All you're gonna do, a couple different variations. You can have your knees bent right here, or you can be fully extended here and wide open your legs, all right? And you're gonna have the dumbbell or the kettlebell right here above your eyes. And all you're gonna do is crunch all the way up. The main thing here is stabilizing through that movement. You don't wanna ride your back too much. So if you're riding your back too much, that means you're what? A little bit too heavy. So it's here, all right? You wanna look up, up, up. So look up, 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 and almost stare at the kettlebell and come right back down. Another thing is you don't want your knees to come up or your legs to come up at much at all. So if you look at my knees, go ahead through this movement, you're gonna see as I come up, I'm stabilizing in that position. That means I'm stable all the way through. You can also do it with your knees. Bend. So coming straight up and right back down, okay? So right there, I generally like to do like five, six sets of that. Um, and I won't really do too many of other exercises outside of it. So five to six sets, and I'm hitting about eight to 12, depending on the weight, once again. Okay, so that's number four, right? Number four. Number five. One of my absolute favorites. We got, we got seesaws, you can call them scissors, whatever the hell you want to call them. But you're gonna have your elbows here. You can even have one leg up, and you're gonna come all the way out and come back in. As you can see, when I take one leg off, it's that much tougher. It's extremely, extremely tough. But what we're gonna be doing, stabilizing. You can even go wider if you're more of a beginner. You can go a little bit closer to your feet if you're not. But you don't want your, your butt to be flying up in the air, okay? You don't want that, right? So here we go. All we're gonna do is straight out and back in. So you pause one 1,000 at the top. So out, in, out, in. And that's it right there. That movement, I'm telling you, if you do it correctly and you're, and you're tightening in that stomach, again, you're not only working your abs and your core, but you're also stabilizing with those shoulders and using the serratus interior and other, and other uh, stabilizers to bring it back into that position, okay? So that's five, and there's so many other that, that we can do. I even gave you a, uh, a bonus right here. Um, there's so many different movements that you could be doing. 
These right here are, are things I like to use all the time. I switch them up as best as I can. And if you are someone that only has body weight and you don't have a lot of this equipment, that's fine. I want you to do two movements, okay? One movement is just gonna be the rockers, right? So rockers are extremely, extremely fun. All you do, you're gonna be here, you're gonna round everything, and you're just gonna rock back and forth. Rock. Round your back as much as possible, and you're gonna rock, okay? So that's one of the movements that you could be doing as a body weight guy. You could also do around the world. These are freaking miserable. Okay, so you're gonna come here, hollow position, tighten everything, and you're just going to move around as much as possible. You can also bend your knees. That's completely fine as well. When you come all the way around, that's half of one. You now go back all the way around, okay? So, those are the movements. I mean, look, I'm definitely, I'm definitely uh, lean, right? So, so I know something about this stuff. Well, I'll tell you this much. I did abs today with um, another, uh, one of my, one of my uh, family members, I call them followers or fans, other people call them. But he came into the gym and he said, yo, I've been following you for years and years. Um, first of all, I'd love to get your greens product. And that was a really cool experience. But also I've been following you since the beginning. And yeah, I just wanted to say, I appreciate you all these different things. And I said, you know what? Let's do an ab workout. Let's bring it back, shall we? And he was so down. We did the ab workout and like halfway through, you could just see him. He was just like, it was brutal. It was brutal because it, it works. It's effective. And when you really take into account the frequency, how often you're doing it for the entire week, and also the rest periods, pretty much zero, unless you're going really heavy. If you're going really heavy, then I do recommend some rest periods. And you do everything correctly, and you're consistent with it, this is what comes from it. It's the truth. You just gotta want it. You just gotta want it. You gotta remember that, okay? So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I wanna come out with some more info videos with the gym and bodyweight training, incorporating things. You can do this, you can do that. But you're gonna have something all the time, every single week, to be able to implement and level up your fitness game, level up your exercise, your cardiovascular system, your muscular system, everything. Clean out your gut, feel better, the whole shebang, okay? So thanks for tuning in for another video. Create Your Nutrition is live, so make sure you go check that out. Uh, the greens juice, Create Your Greens, everyone's been buying them, they love them. We're trying to get more and more stock in. It's hard to keep up with inventory, that's one of the toughest parts about this business, but I'm so excited. Very high quality product for a very affordable price. Even international, seven bucks for shipping $2 domestic. So definitely check that out, link in the description. Um, and also my podcast, every Tuesday and Friday, I love talking. As you can see, I got a big mouth. I, I got a really big mouth. I got a really big mouth. I can fit a, ma a, a whole apple in my mouth, <laughs> which is awesome. But I, I like to talk about so many different types of topics. I like to discuss and, and really get you to the next level, whether that is with business, maybe that is with just growing your social media or building relationships with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or even having a better relationship with your parents, whatever it is, I wanna bring your vision to life. And I do that through this podcast and the subjects that we always talk about. So I have guests coming on and it's, it's really, really fun. Link is also in the description. Anyways, that's all I got for today. I'm feeling amazing. It's coming. It's coming very, very soon. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below with how you feel about these videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.